Guys, we are back. Playing Life is Strange. When we left off in the last episode, we opened the door to Chloe in a wheelchair. We basically went back in time and changed one little thing, and you guys know about the butterfly effect. It changed everything. Previously on Life is Strange. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Castaways. We are castaways. Ahoy there. Ahoy. Have my own background music. Life is strange, dark room. What's with the whales? I just have to ask. <gasps> oh my god. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. This is so sad. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden, golden hour. hour. I See? knew it. Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Yeah, maybe we could take amazing shots if there weren't Those giant whales dead so whales everywhere. I kind of know how they feel. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. I just want to know what happened. Not my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Oh. A car accident. Okay. I want to talk about the accident. Who's William? Am I missing something? Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Oh, William's her dad, SUV okay. He cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and, and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. Stop, ugh, this is when awful. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move Stop. a muscle. Stop, this is so awful. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just... Happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Oh, Rachel. Okay, interesting. I guess they don't know each other in this life. Um, let's ask. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. Oh my god, it's so crazy. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Wow, so much has changed just because I took the car keys and hid them from her dad. This is so wild. Um 
Okay, so she said it was the end of the world. It might be you think. Don't say that. I don't know. I think I'm just going to say you think. Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. <gasps> Didn't she used to say that word? I swear. It's so crazy how much of a different person she is. Like, I know the other Chloe is going through trauma, which is, well, I guess both Chloe's are going through different types of trauma, but the old Chloe's going through, like, her stepdad and losing her dad trauma. That was, like, making her take it out on other people. This Chloe is not, like, taking it out on other people. She is just a lot different. Um, so it's kind of interesting. What is worse here? Because her it's dad is still alive, wear. but now she's like she this. A high -tech cell. I don't know. It's like, I can't. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. This is so sad. Like. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe. You're a great daughter. Her You're room. Kind yeah. Oh my god, it's so You don't different. even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Mm. I'm drinking water right now, Chloe. <laughs> well, honestly, this is really sad, but at least she didn't develop like a frat boy personality and have like the frat boy bedroom anymore. I'm going to look around though. Let's see what's going on. Let's look at this. Oh, <gasps> Jane Doe though. spotted. I guess not everything changed. Jane Doe spotted teddy bear. Hello, Chloe. She likes fluffy animals now. Cute. Um, is You guys keep saying that her room's the garage now. Is it actually? Point is, she's on the first floor now. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Lifter. Medical ventilator. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Lifter. Ventilator. Oh, man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. That is this awful. Is so cool that you're here again. I'm no, glad you right? think so. It is cool. Where's this water, though? I feel like I'm exploring the room, and my girl Chloe, she's so thirsty. I'm keeping her waiting. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? What the? I wish I could punch your face right now. <laughs> a podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you Podcast since 2013. I was thinking the <sighs> yeah, same that's thing. It's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Um, what do you remember? What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. <laughs> yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. 
Which friends? Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax, and I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. I want to ask about her parents. I want to know if her parents are still together. Are they okay? I mean, are they still happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy, too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. That's nice that they're still Max. together. The accident has been so hard on them. Who's Our Dr. Bill? Oh, is that supposed to be Dr. Insane. Bill? <laughs> I did not get that. That went right, right over my head. Um, yeah, I bet they are, Chloe. I bet. <clears throat> this tech must be crazy expensive. <laughs> Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh... <laughs> No pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human when I be one. system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember Max. So okay, I now asleep. I actually like them together. Because no Chloe's not yeah. being a <laughs> to me. Um, they actually like vibe, and I feel like they have chemistry. Before, I just didn't get it, you guys. I really didn't. Um, I just, I didn't like Chloe's attitude with the blue hair. Like, she was just so rude to me. But now we're actually, you know, having nice conversations and being friendly. Whoa, mouth-controlled joystick? You're really my only friend who kept in touch. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so, so great people get this high-tech help. No, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, I'm supposed to put on a movie right now, yeah? Make a wish? Let's read this. Oh, I love reading. I love it's reading. Nice. My parents sent a card at least. Oh, okay. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. Know that I'm here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again soon. XOXO, Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Max, kind of weird, girl. Like, let me send my pictures of my adventure to my paralyzed friend. <laughs> um, okay. Let's put on the movie. Ah, uh, here's the DVD. Okay, DVD player. All right, let's watch this movie, girl. Is that Max? Did she sleep there in that chair? Cause that chair is like hard as hell. Wait. Oh, okay. I didn't think she was in the bed for a second. I thought Chloe like left. I just know Max is in major pain right now. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? There is no way Max slept I through the whole night like that. When you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was 
Such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you, pretty please, go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine, morphine injector? injector? God damn. It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. All right, time to get this morphine. Damn. Is she okay? Maybe I should go fast. I don't really know what's going on. Let's go. Oh. Hey. Should I talk to William? Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. Wait, he has an accent? So what's on your mind? What was that accent? Should I say anything? For some reason, I feel like... I the, they, like, purposely are keeping the morphine from her. I don't know why, but um, I'm just... I think I'm going to leave. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Weird vibes with the morphine. Oh, Victor Victoria texted me. Let's see. Come by my room tonight. Max, are we cool? Just want to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried, too. If you want to talk, hit me up, Kay. Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, Kay. Silence. So if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. Damn. She is a stage five clinger. Get your own life. Oh my God, Max smokes pot? Oh my God. I scored that killer bud from you know who. Save me a bowl? Max. Oh my god, she's so bad. Wait, at least Victoria shares her weed. I will say that. Okay. She bad. <laughs> okay, do you think it's in here? This is Chloe's old room. Oh. Just empty. This doesn't look like where the morphine would be. I don't know about you guys, but I just feel like it's not where it is. Letter, look. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Can't help you with a loan. Whatever, guys. Cl crutches, box with toys, box with shoes. Here's another letter, let's see. I never um, heard much about William's brother. Work has been piling up. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the, the story. Okay, your brother. I don't think the morphine is in here. Oh, Chloe's height chart. This is so sad, have to look away. At least we never had to hide from step douche. So true, so true. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. That is not a coincidence. That is sus. All right, I think I'm in the wrong room. So let's go find the right room. Is that it? Can I go into these rooms? No, okay, let's walk into here, the bathroom. Wait, is there a light? Oh. Okay, um, I feel like the morphine would be in here. Let's look in the cabinets. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Let's look in this one. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. All right, let's go give it to her. I'm worried about her down there. So we gotta hurry up. Can I run? Like, goddamn. 
pick up the pace. Okay. Hey, Chloe. I'm back. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Oh, oh I wouldn't want to do that. Okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Why is the chat saying trigger warning? I'm ner now I'm nervous. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like I'm scared. No you guys are zero. scaring me. Plus, Max <clears throat> Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Did I, like, give her too much or something? I'm, like, really scared. Is that okay? Perfect. Let's reminisce. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. We love these pictures. Oh, Such awesome high quality. Picture. We look so badass <clears throat> in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh, man. There we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Literally. Literally for this our photo. own box. Maybe I could... Oh. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying... That being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. What? You understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. No way. Really? What? What? Now we just have to pick? Oh my god, what? Oh my god. Dude, <laughs> this is too much for me right now. Assisted unaliving, yes. Assisted unaliving, which is um, illegal in most places because it's very debatable. Um, I literally would have no idea what to do in this situation. Like, no idea. Because at the end of the day, I feel like it's obviously Chloe's decision, but it's also like kind of, I feel like it's kind of a really big thing to ask someone to do for you because I imagine you would like live the rest of your life with maybe some type of guilt. Like, you know what I'm saying? And what? Like, this is my first time seeing Chloe in years, and I'm just going to kill her in here? I don't know, guys. I literally don't know. I think, like, I kind of want to hit the option that says I don't know, because that's, like, all I'm saying right now. I don't know. It's also just sus, too. Like, I'm just talking to her dad, and I'm just in here, and I'm going to kill her. I don't know. She's high. Don't do it. That's so true. We did just give her drugs. Dude, I don't know. I'm gonna just say I don't know, cause like, 
Damn, this is a lot to ask Chloe. Why are you asking me this? Chloe, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. Oh my god. I want to help you, Chloe, but I, th I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Oh my god. Please. Do I have to? Stop! Why? Are you f***ing serious? Literally, are you serious? Dude, this is actually cruel. This is so cruel. The fact that I have to sit here and decide right now is so cruel. This is foul. <laughs> it is foul. Jen, what are you going to do? I don't know, you guys. Like, I really don't want to do it. I just feel like there's a couple reasons why I don't want to do it. Like, I get what she's saying. Like, I totally understand where Chloe's coming from, but... I don't know, it's my first time seeing her. I just gave her drugs. Um, so she is high right now. So she's not like in a sound state of mind. Like it's almost like maybe I would do it down the line, but like not right now. Clo like I'm just seeing her for the first time. Her parents are, her dad's literally out in the living room right now. I'm just gonna kill his daughter and leave. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Again, like this is just a lot. And this is a lot of pressure for me. Like. I wish she would at least ask her family instead. I don't know. This, this is a lot. And, you know, maybe I'd do it down the line. But if I was in this situation in real life, I genuinely think I would refuse. But I would be like, maybe later, question mark? I don't know. Like, honestly, I'd be like, maybe later. No, but you get what I mean? Because I totally understand where she's coming from. Like, she is suffering. And she's not living, like, her life because she's paralyzed. But this is all a lot for my girl right now to do in one day, to find out that her best friend got paralyzed and then to like end her life all in one day. Like, I don't know, maybe down the line, uh, let's reschedule this. <laughs> um, I agree, but it's what Chloe wants. Well, then she should tell her parents that. I don't know. Like, dude, this is my first time seeing her in years. Like she should tell her parents or anyone else. Um, I'm gonna refuse for right now. We'll see what happens. Chloe, I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. The choice. And William, I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness. Not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. That's so true. Like, I can also go Why into not? photos and change the past. You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. <sighs> Chloe, I am never leaving you again. All right, well, now she's pissed at me. But listen, I stand by my decision. I really do. Also, maybe if she asked me before I injected her with morphine, I would have a different answer. But like, seriously, there's too many variables here that I'm just like really uncomfortable with in this moment. Um... That's why I'm saying brain check. Do I, can I get up? No, I guess I just have to like look at. I'm story. sorry, William. <gasps> oh, <gasps> I'm going into the photo again. Oh my God. Dude, is there like a third option? Is there a third option where I go back in time and I just prevent her dad from ever buying her a car? Like, why can't we do that? 
go back far enough to abolish cars. <laughs> I just stop cars from ever being made. No, but for real, what we should be doing right now is we should be looking at that photo that we saw of Chloe getting her car for her sweet 16 and going back in time to that moment and like just jumping in her new car and crashing it ourselves so that she can't use it or just something like that or stealing the keys or something like that. Like, why can't we go back in time in that photo? Oh, you have to be in the photo? That makes sense, I guess, but... <sighs> So do we kill her dad or what, you guys? <laughs> like, what do I do? We don't have a choice. Back to blue hair Chloe. Ugh. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Can we not like hold the car keys for like just five minutes Hello? so that he never gets hey, into honey. the accident because he doesn't leave what? at the same time? Like there is totally oh, a way around this where both people can end up being alive. Like I Shit, know like that there is. The like why can't we just Do hold it for a minute long. so that he's late and then be like, oh, I found the keys. Do you know what I mean? Aha, uh -huh. you can't hide from me forever. Like, and there no really Chloe is a way around this. Oh, she's burning the photo, too? For dessert. He would still buy her a car, that's true, but... He's never leaving me. That makes all of us. I don't know, a butterfly effect, anything could change from the one choice. Do you know what I mean? So, I don't know. Why would she burn Max, the photo? you're being so know. fucking strange. Like, you're never gonna see us again. Chloe. I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about. This is gonna f things up. On. This is gonna. Why you is she talking about this? You have different. Like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? This is butterfly we'll affecting right forever. now. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens. I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Just say I don't get a car. That's so Chloe. true, right? I'll always have your back. Or she should have figured out what day the car accident happened and just make Chloe not drive that day. Yikes. She wasn't there when Chloe got the car. She can send a letter or a text or something. Like she can call and be like, don't get in your car today, girl. Trust me, you guys, there are ways around this. There really are. But the game just wants us to be in this, this or that situation. better that someone just dies instead of someone having a life-altering injury. I don't know if that's like controversial for me to say, but you know what I mean? Like at least he just dies and he's gone instead of having, you know, someone to like be paralyzed. I don't know. Maybe that's contra, but... <gasps> oh my god! Chloe! You're back! Oh yeah, now you suddenly want to kiss me? You had your chance. I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. She should get those roots done. <laughs> Max, did you forget we've gone over this? She should. I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not well, anymore. Well... I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Yeah, welcome back to b Chloe. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. Yeah, I don't think she can either. All right, can I move or am I just... Oh, space camp. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. All right, let's look at, let's look at it. So close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. 
Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Darkroom. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. All right, um... I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. Yes, I think we should just chill and stay here. That's the other thing I was thinking, you guys, is that this is the reality that was, like, supposed to happen. I did go back in time and, like, change things to create, like, a new reality. So that's another reason why I'm standing by my decision. Because although it's sad how things are, both ways, this is, like, literally what was supposed to happen. So let's go downstairs. Oh my god. Yikes. Awkward. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. Yikes. I salute you. Talk David. About awkward. I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Get out of my face. I, I never want to hear from that man again. <gasps> Warren! That's the other thing, is Warren had a girlfriend in our alternate reality, which... Wax for life, so Wax is back in action, you guys. Let's see what Warren has to say. Okay, let's see. Still on for Go Ape. And I'm saying yes. Okay, I'll, I'll buzz you later. Wax. Wax for life. All right, let's go snoop around in here. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Warning, I don't dial 911. Guns save lives. Like, what the hell is this place? And this propaganda all over the walls. Okay, well, first of all, I want to open this. Oh, can I not open this cabinet? I wanted to open this cabinet that had the, the like, TV in it, but... Ooh, what's this? There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. Oh my god, this is he really... He should finish this letter to Joyce. ...really long. Oh, okay, it's just a take-me-back letter. Let's look in this box. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. Well, maybe if he didn't do awful things... Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Pan Estates? The hell is that? I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. Um, okay. This guy's a freak. He's a little freak on cam. Literally, because he has security cams everywhere. Let's look over here. What the hell did David do for Nathan? All right. And what did his dad do for David? Mr. Madison. Is that what that says? Madison. Thank you for your help with Nathan. Ooh, sus. Let's look around in here. Can we get into these lockers? Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Hey, David, what you hiding? Oh, man, we have to find the combo. I bet it's one, two, three, four. Shit. Okay, never mind. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, and I need to find a way to break this padlock. 
Oh, break it. Okay. Nest? Oh. Look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. I need something to break the, the lock. Maybe a tool. Ooh, crowbar. Okay. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Why is there a whole bird's nest in the garage? I don't know. I was thinking the same thing. Very odd behavior, but everything this man does is very odd. So let's crowbar in here Sorry, and see what David, he's hiding. I bet you would do the same thing as me. Why are you <gasps> acting sus? Notes, coordinates, photos of <gasps> Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Why are you acting sus? Why are you acting sus now? Okay, this is really sussy and weird. What? T W N P K S. All right. <gasps> um, who took that? Um, who took that? That's really weird. Twilight Zone. Wait, is that? Whose car is that? Oh, it's Nathan's? Um, what? That's literally me. Score. Back to Chloe now. Run. Run. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. No offense, Who but Chloe be? shouldn't be it. here. Like, Chloe shouldn't come I'm a little to nervous. see Kate. Just, Just my opinion. Go in there and be her friend. Oh, okay, she's waiting. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Yeah, well, like me. thanks for apologizing, Chloe. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thanks, Chloe. You should be. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm on it. Hey, Kate. Max. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people Damn, are they about to kiss right now? To They're like really close. I know. <laughs> you should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while, but I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes um, out to visit. I love them. BFFs for life. Like they need life. to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. 
Daniel, and Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Um, me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working Let's on it, see Max. It. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Let's look at something. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. Cute. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Express my deepest wish for your speedy recovery. Yeah, right. I don't believe him. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed, but not Nathan. Yeah, makes sense. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Kate, I know you hate me, and you should. <laughs> it should just say that. XO Vic. But I only want to see you smile again. Please let me know if you need anything. Whatever. I guess that's kind of nice. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Do I want to talk to her about something? Am I supposed to tell her that we're going to kill Nathan? But why is Victoria underlined? We'll do Victoria just because it's underlined. It's making me want to click it. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a... Uh, not... not Victoria? But I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but I feel her struggle. Okay, being a forgiving so nice person is a really good thing. When I took a picture of her covered in paint. I like that. Not a proud moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? She's a Because she's insecure. She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. All right, well, let's talk about um, Nathan now, I guess. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. I wish I could have gotten his ass kicked out of Blackwell. Me too. But his dad would never let that happen. I thought I had a tough family. So what is going on with him now? <clears throat> um... Which one should I, um, click? I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, right, please well, let me help. It. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Sounds of good. course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. Exactly. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Am I wearing a, a moth shirt? Ew. Alright, let's get out of here. Well, how is she? Hey, Chloe! She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Let's kill him. <laughs> Murder on my mind. <laughs> Murder on my mind. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Yo. Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. Leave me alone, Mr. Jefferson. Note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. I mean, if if Even Max doesn't sorry, win, you didn't win. Her a photo. 
I understand your reasons. Oh. You can't force an artist to work. So, you don't hate me for Never. what I said to the principal? I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep Yo, up with the kids. why is Chloe flirting with Mr. Problem. Creeper, Sam? Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Chloe wants a hit. Hot floor teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Chloe's trying to hit that. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. All right, what am I supposed Let's to do? Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Oh, okay. Who is Chloe talking to now? Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Way too much shit going on, man. Chloe, who the hell is Justin? Insane. Hey, Chloe, so who's here. Justin? Any word at all, Rachel? Who's Justin? Dude, I wish. What are you guys talking I about? I miss her laugh when I bail off my board. She was probably high. Right. Maybe I can just talk to people and figure out where he is. I had to clear up. away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. As a scientist, that's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Huh? I'm standing right here, you Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? You were just talking to yourself, by the way. Like, I didn't see anyone standing there. Nathan. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Are okay, you jealous or what? Uh, but right now I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. Right off, Brooke. New enemy unlocked, Brooke. I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. Good, Nathan is not around. Hey, Zachary, you wanna toss that pigskin around? Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. Hey, Zachary. Let me talk to this guy, see if I can talk to him. Let me talk to Chloe, I can talk to her. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. <laughs> 